examples that you showed there, as well as many others, and the jury did not find her credible. And so he comes out completely victorious in this. And then the media, I think, rushing to paint this, uh, as you said, as some sort of indictment of the Me Too movement does not surprise me. I think that's the only way in which they would go. She herself has gone, including her attorney. But um, really, I think what this signifies, it's actually a good day for a correction of the Me Too movement because it originally started as a force for good insofar as it was about giving women uh, a fair hearing to have their case heard. She received that hearing. She got her day in court. She did not stand up to it. But then over time, it really quickly morphed into something that really took away men's rights and this concept of believe all women, which runs antithetical to the presumption of innocence, which is what we are, all of our countries are based on. So I think it's serving as a correction for that. And uh, those stats you mentioned on social media prove that, the Johnny Depp um, has really come out of this a winner in the court of public opinion and people really are happy to have seen the, the record rectified for him. Evan, your thoughts? Well, it just proves there's no higher moral, uh, I guess, purpose than the rule of law. And we saw this in Australia, in the Australian political scene over the last couple of years, media and journalists questioning whether the Believe All Women movement can interfere with the rule of law. Well, it can't. And I, I do think uh, people can get into tribes with this and look at this through their own political prisms and certainly the media do that. But at the end of the day, this is a very sad affair. It seems like it was a very toxic relationship that went both ways and the high, the daily highlights of this were kind of like a goggle book box for, for court trials in this, which is what is really a very sad affair when there's a, a relationship breakdown. And I think the fact that th these kind of court cases happen uh, on a daily, weekly basis, but because it's two celebrities, it's, it's, it's um, exacerbated throughout the media for all to see. It's very sad. Yeah, well said. And Kosher, I'd also be keen to hear your thoughts on this because I think the danger that we have, you know, me as a journalist uh, reporting on, on these kind of stories is if one case is successful, then we think it kind of sets this cultural precedent. So if a woman um, is wins this case and she is to, be, to be believed, some of the media say, well, this is why we need to be so hard on hashtag me too and we need to be able to air these allegations. But then, you know, equally, on the other hand, we don't want to go so far as to say that this, you know, infers that all women um, are being deceptive when they make these complaints. It's a very tricky situation. It is. I think, you know, each case has to be judged on, it, on its own merits. And uh, we should all be careful to not try and engage in kind of grouping uh, themes mm. and using that as the way through which we define things as opposed to each case individually. 